All right, question. What are you doing tomorrow, Saturday? Well, I'm asking because there's going to be something very important that we're going to be attending. La Familia from Power 106, Cali. Uh, we also have K-Day in the building. Uh, and someone who is here to tell us all about this important event, which is tomorrow, the Rally of Our Rights, is Mr. Alex Padilla. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And the whole family is going to be there. Uh, not just the, the radio family, but my family is going to be there. Uh, it's an important event, not just a rally for immigrant rights and, and against discrimination and bigotry, the negativity that still exists in our politics, uh, but kind of celebrating how far we've come in California in the last 25 years. Uh, they, they have a slogan going on, or it's a campaign, I'm sorry, that it says, we are 25 years beyond Prop 187. Right. And uh, for those of us who lived Prop 187 25 years ago, we know exactly what it means. For a lot of people, including a lot of young people who don't remember politics 25 years ago, let me just put it this way. Uh, the, the negativity, the hate that we're feeling at the national political level, believe it or not, that was California 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. There was a measure on the ballot even in 1994 that said, you know what, let's, make, let's take services and resources away from immigrants. It was that blunt, that cruel. Uh, the measure passed, never went into effect. It was unconstitutional. But all the people who organized, all the people who campaigned against it, all the people who were woke by it uh, and, and never went away, right? It, it triggered a new generation of leaders and activists. And that is why California is the way it is today because we didn't you know, go home. We didn't go into hiding. We resisted and we stayed organized and involved. You had a generation like my parents who had been here for years not thinking about becoming citizens, finally taking that step. A lot of young people who wanted nothing to do with politics realizing we need to get engaged. We need to register. We need to vote. You know, and you look at the level of representation that we now have in members of Congress and the legislature at the at the local level and the politics of California is different. And when you say this happened 25 years ago and now it's kind of the same climate, uh, what would you, you've heard the whole history repeats itself. Right. What would you say to those younger, like you said, the younger generation who doesn't remember politics, who's not even involved? What would you say for this time around? What can we change or do different? Well, I think the big difference is while we're still hearing it, we're still feeling it because of what's happening across the country, California itself is very different. You're not seeing it or hearing it here like people are in Texas and Arizona and Georgia and a lot of other places. Why? Because look how far we've come. You know, with just one uh, data point. In 1994, there was less than 1.4 million Latinos registered to vote in California. Mm. Today, there's more than 4 million. So if you see a difference coming out of the state capitol, there's a direct correlation as to why. If if even the city of Los Angeles itself is different today, because uh, we are, you know, we have a big population, we have a diverse population. So we're living it, and what we are doing is actually giving hope to the rest of the country for what is possible when you embrace diversity and get engaged. So tomorrow, we're celebrating what happened 25 years ago. Uh, we're celebrating the progress, but we're signing up for what's next, right? In 2020, we got to get out and vote. You got to yes. register first if you're yes. eligible. Got to make sure you vote not just in November, but in March 2020. There's also going to be the census. We need everybody to participate in the 2020 census to make sure we get the representation we deserve, to make sure our communities get the funding it deserves uh, in each and every part of California. And these aren't really po uh, popular topics amongst the youth for some reason. You know, it's not what's in, it's not trending, but I think we should, and we're really working on that. So thank you so much, uh, Secretary of State Alex Padilla, for coming and hanging out with us. And remember, it's tomorrow, November 9th, the rally uh, for our rights. The rally for our rights, 10 to 4 p.m. It's going to be at the L.A. State. L Los Angeles State Historic Park used to be called the Cornfields. Great view of downtown. Great family environment. So bring the kids. Bring mom and dad. Bring everybody. And it's important to bring the kids. You say you have three boys at home. They'll be there. You're born and raised from Pacoima. Born and so, raised in Pacoima. No, you're from La Hood. San you Fernando got Valley, it. Baby. But it's important to bring the kids just to teach them young that this is important. You know, that this is a part of the way of life. We don't just get to enjoy the diversity here in California but we also have to be a part of it and, and make these experiences as a family together, no? Exactly, exactly. There's people who fought battles so that we could have the opportunities that we have today, and it's up to us to make sure that those opportunities continue to be there for the generations to come. Well, I look forward to seeing you there tomorrow. All right. And uh, tacos on you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>